folks, welcome back to the channel, former Envoy Stream here. Here we are on the 14th of March 2024, and this is today's mod review, so in total we've got 32 mods to look at. So there may be a chance of where I'm to split this video in two. But we'll see how it goes. Time taps, as always, will be found down below. But anyway, let's start off with our mod reviews with the French Temporary Signs by Kmara. It is 0.75 megabytes to download. They are two slots each. And yeah, there's temporary road signs. They are in French. And this can be found under build mode, under decorations, and others. Go towards the end. So yeah, we've got a pavement sign. So if I go and show this. So you got caution for pavement, speed bumps, truck exit sign, and ice panel. And yeah, there are a hundred dollars each. Can be placed anywhere, and they do have collision physics. So that is the French temporary signs by Kimara. Next, we've got a set of manure plates. These are the manure plates six by ten meter. This is by Pigu 1A. They will cost either 70,500 each or 18,200 each. $2 to upkeep. Capacities are 1.5 million litres. And yeah, slot camps are three slots each for each of the different variety types. And I forgot to say if I haven't already, it is 2.59 megabytes to download. And this can be found under build modes, buildings, and silos. So, yeah, we've got a variety of options. So, we'll go from right to left. So, got a right angled one with all the walls. You've got a right angled one with partial bit of the wall missing. You've got a free section. You've got another free section. With partial wall misses on the side. You got a left angle, left right angle pull. Wall. And yeah, so this has got a bit of a partial gap to it missing. Then you got a complete left hander, right angle. Then we've gone to the small one. So these were the 6x10 by 10 by 2.2 meters. These no correction, sorry. These are the manure long ones, so these are 10 by 10 by 2.2 meters. These ones are the 6 by 10 by 2.2 meters. So yeah, similar as before. Right angle, missing break. Right angle, nothing. All three sections, missing break. All three sections. And got a left section with a missing angle there. Or missing bit of wall. And you got a complete left right angle section. So yeah, they're pretty much all the same, just different varieties. So we've got the smaller versions here, or we've got a longer version here. But still, one and a half million liters each for the big one or the small one. So doesn't really matter what you go with. So yeah, that is the manure plate 6x10 by Piggy 1A. Next. We've got the Reinforced Quano Set Sheds for Root Crops. This is by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuild Team. 13.29 megabytes to download. It's a hefty slot count of 38 slots. And uh, yeah, I swear I've seen something similar to this before. And it says the silo is coupled with a repurposed Quano Set Sheds based on the Nice and hut converted to store root crops. And uh, yep, yeah, it's been retrofit with walls and other bits so it can hold up to hurricanes, strong winds, hells, heavy snow, and even earthquakes with proper ventilation. So and basically these are a five million year storage. The hold type for each crop of the following potatoes, sugar beet, carrot parsnip and beetroot are a million litres each so in total five million litres so two and a half million it says for the main building 
And for the extension, it's here, and this is a all-in-one unit. So anyways, this can be found under build mode and under silos. Scroll down to bit, so you have 38 slots. Goes down to 2. And you're at 240 grand, but for the size, 5 million litres. That ain't too shabby, so your input is here, and you will need to go right up to the end here, like literally right close to the trigger. So, can't put a trigger here, the trigger door needs to be like here to put in. So, if you have issues with dumping, because I had issues with dumping carrots in. Like mates, yeah, go around. You've got the corrugated roof. Got some old tires. Got a good ventilation shafts. And over on the extension bit, or vice versa, I'm not sure. Ooh, some hoses. Hoses, adders. Nothing. Keep help menu open up for the other buildings we've got coming up. But yeah, so you've got your output here. Very easy trigger. I see that, but you again, you need to get right close to it because I was having issues with getting it out. Again, could be the trade I was using since I was using the Titan Trader, but. So, yeah, that is the Reinforced Quality Sheds for Root Corps by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds Team. Next, we've got the old Grain Solid by Paisal. 12.95 megabytes to download. Slot counts for the silo itself is 7 slots, 13 slots for the shed, and 5 slots for the lights. And yeah, first of all, may seem just a typical silo in that area and a bit of a little storage area, but this shed has got a bit of a specialty to it. So, first of all, the grain silo £22,000, 470000 air capacity. It is not a multi fruit side, just your simple grains and that side because it's an old green side, as I said in the mod. But yeah, anyways, first of all, let's look where you can place these. So, under buildings and silos. So, for the silo itself, you put this down here, no options or not, no customization. And then for your lights, you'll go under decorations and lights, and then right at the end. Got lamp one and lamp two. Not too much of a difference, just a single light there. And they got a bit of a dual light here. I feel like placing next to the side though, like if you place it outside, it's fine. But if you want to get right close to it, I do suggest using the toggle free mode to place it. And yeah, these lights seem to be automatic, so. There's no manual suggestion. But anyways, let's move on to the metal shed. £2,300. And good thing about this shed it is, as said in the mod description, the sides and rear walls can be removed. It does say I recommend enabling the inactive, sorry, interactive zone tags to see where the triggers are located. But I'm pretty sure that is a PC mod of some sort, so... But anyways, so I'll show you on console at least, so... Buildings here. Got some little, nice little details. Nothing to be picked up. But yeah, so... Can you move to the left? Well, I don't think so, or you can. So yeah, buy this pillar. Go right towards it. Press circle. That removes the left wall. Removes also <coughs> the dirt area. Ah, no, actually, sorry. Ah, it's the interactive zone marker. So, when it says interactive zone tag, so yeah. These little X's here, I've only just noticed. This is where your trigger is, so you can hide the back wall. And you can also hide the right hand side wall and the jerry can, so you can convert this from simple old closed shed to an open drive through wall shed. So, and actually, that 
that is rather a nifty feature. And lights. Apparently there are light switches. And the light switch is here, so turn on. And yep, still works with all the walls removed. And actually, I do love that lighting. It's like a bit of a sort of an old vintage haze to it in a way. But anyways, that is the old grain slider by Paisel. Next, we've got the covered bunker silos by Agrogati. 10.49 megabytes to download. Slot counts are following. So basically this is a modular bunker silo. So for the main building itself, it is five slots each. And for the modular bits, which we're looking to in a sec, are three slots each. So yeah, like, just sort of get things set up and that. I've dumped about 60 and 70,000 years. And yeah, it says it's a bunker silo. But I can't find anything. This is under build mode and under silos. My apologies, I missed setting, when setting this up, actually I've missed the bunker silo, so... Ooh, you can actually get creative with this, so... First of all, you've got the buildings themselves, and I said they are five slots each. You can have a... is way a trigger in that. I recommend using the toggle build mode to place it. So yeah, that's where you can store... So yeah, you're chaffing at, so... Ah, this actually opens it up so much more, because you've got a... 6x8 meter one building, and a 20x8 meter building. So yeah, I said 60 and 70,000 or so. If I had to guess, by the time you compact that down... I'd say easy around... 200,000 years at least in there. Maybe more if you get creative in a small one. But yeah, you've got your buildings here for your modular sections, which we'll have a look at in a sec. And then also you've got your big dry food ball section, and yeah, I completely missed the section on the bunker silo, so again like with the other one. Let's go and find it. There we go, so yeah. Yeah, only problem is, personally, I recommend, by the looks of it, placing the trigger down first before the building, because yeah, it got a little bit sticking out the back, and then got a little bit there. But then, then again, if you do have this issue, I cannot remember who this mod is by, but it's a bunker soil set. Oh yeah, you could perhaps set something like this down to stop it from spinning out at the back. But yeah, that is a bit separate. Next, let's get on to the actual modularity of this. So, go to our buildings and undersheds. So yeah, 100 grand for the big building. And 20 grand for the sword building. But then again, if you want. And also, I forgot to say there was a variety of color options. I think that is, yeah, 16 different color options. Ah, you can get super crazy with this, so. Let's just find a random area to place stuff down, so. Yeah, something like that, so. Got tarp doors and that, so go bang. Maybe enable toggle snap in. And yeah, you can get so creative with this. Uh, so yep, yeah, I want that. So yeah, you can make this as long as you want. So yeah, a modular bunker size set, so yeah. May not be the most perfect of ideas by me here. But yeah, I'll sort of a quick demonstration. So yeah. That is the covered bunker size by Agrogati. Next. We've got the long shed by Gamer 
HZSFSH. 8.49 megabytes to download. It is 18 slots on console. And yeah, it is a sort of semi modern, bit of a classic long shed. Definitely can suit your big old tractors. So yeah, this can be found under build mode and sheds. And yeah, 20 grand to place down. 10 bucks a day to maintain. There's no corruptions. And yeah, got like some nice little details on sides. And yeah, there's a drive through ball, so you've got your doors here, open and close. Same as over here. Close and open. A light switch can be found at the front as you place it, so this box section here. Turn lights off and turn lights on. And the good thing is they do turn on at the same time, like all lights turn on at the same time. There is that realistic slight delay, which you don't really see on main sheds nowadays. I wish like, some of them had that sort of like buzz in a way when they turn on like, um, what was it, like, similar to Mr. P's intro now, because that was a feature on, ah, oh, what was it, Sussex Farm on FS19 by Aim Jim. But yeah, anyways, getting sidetracked here, I've got plenty of mods to look at, so... This is the Longshed by Gamer HZS FSH. Next, we've got the Old Shed, and this is an Old Shed for Old Machinery. Dimensions are 31.5 meters by 7 meters. This is by A2OK. And this is 24 slots on console. £10,000 to buy, 5 bucks a day to maintain. Uh, can't remember if I said slot count, not slot count, size 15.68 megabytes to download. And yep, yeah, it's an old shed for old machinery. I mean, look, on it first look, may seem to be a bit underwhelmed by the size, but there are a lot of nice little details here. So, got a little storage area here. Realistically, you can maybe get like a barrel now, like a wheelbarrow, and store stuff in here. And yeah, like store like your gardening equipment. And yeah, you got a decent size shed here. Good rustic vibes. Natural textures on the wood are rather decent actually. There's no pick up objects anywhere, these are all fixed in place. Apart from the odd bits here and there, like a canister, uh, you got your what was it things like you use on the tires and that or wheels. And you got a bit of a small area, and yeah, again, you can use this to store like fertilizer, seeds, and much more. And yeah, go around, stop and check in before I forget. There are no light switches, and again, the little cupboardy area here. Oh yeah, let's go around to the back. Oh, I do love that brick and mortar texture in that. But anyways, this can be found under build mode and under sheds. And yeah, old sheds. Pretty decent size. Very versatile. Multi-use, multi-purpose. And yet yeah, slot count is 24 slots. Goes down to 1. So yeah, that is the old shed by A2OK. Next, we've got the Polish Shed by Persidix, 5.21 megabytes to download, 12 slots on console, and yeah, simply put, this is a small wooden Polish Shed, there are no lights, you cannot pick up anything, yeah, can't pick anything up, but yeah, simple sort of pallets, bells, or even like the very small equipment, like the John Deere 3020 we could be looking at later on, something like that. So yeah, the Polish Shed can be found under buildings and sheds. And uh, so next to what we've previously looked at, so yeah. 20 grand, and uh, yeah, what did I say, yeah, 12 slots goes down to 1. No colour options, but rather simple, good old Polish Shed by Persilix. Next. We've got the Red Brick Shed by Death's Pledge, 
6.12 megabytes to download. Three slot counts for a console. Getting interrupted by the helicopter. Eight grand to place down. And yeah, first of all, let's look at under build mode. And once again, it's built under buildings and sheds. And yeah, eight grand to place down. No colour option since there's a red. Again, brick and mortar in that. Oh, I do love brick and mortar buildings. I'm not sure if it's me or it looks, it looks different to like the old concrete slabs. Maybe the colour textures are slightly off for me when you compare it to real life, but again, that's me being a bit nitty picky with the small details. But yeah, for eight grand, you can store bells or even some equipment. And yeah, again, I've got my case magnum and properly parked, it will fit under with no ease. Maybe some shorter combine harvesters than that. But anyways, this is the red brick shed by Death's Pledge. Next, we've got the workshop. These are two workshops by Mapper's Paradise. 31.46 megabytes to download. Slot count is 49 slots for the black one and 50 slots for the red one. And yeah, these are pretty much exactly the same. I shall look in there in sec. And yeah, so let's go over here. First of all, open the door. Good rolling physics. The light switch for your main area is here. Workshop trigger is here. And the actual pickup area off or the recognizable area for the vehicles is quite vast. So you will have no issues whatsoever fitting a X line combine, big buds and that. Nothing whatsoever. Pick your biggest mod you can think of on console at least. And I'm 99% sure this one proves me wrong. That you can fit anything with wheels in here. And yeah, you have a roller door here. And yeah. I think is it this one's got the interesting physics. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these doors. Oh god. Well, I was like setting that up, I thought, yep, test everything first as I'm trying to prove my videos with these. And yep, notice this. So yeah, and these are the same for both doors, I think, so... Well, that door here... <laughs> oh, oh, it's not, it's not being, being rude in that. Light switch for the actual office is here by the fucking door. Uh, yeah, so yes, this we're going to need an update. How this past testing, I don't know, because it's pretty obvious <laughs> the door doesn't work. I'm nothing with Mapper's Paradise, not at them. It's again, I'm sure it's something I'm not a modder that I'm not a map maker of any sort, so I'm sure it's a little thing that got oversighted and that little thing that got mistaken. So I'm sure this will have a, qu a quick update coming out if the Mapper's Paradise gets it fixed. Either it'll be immediate if it's a hot fix, which I doubt because it's not game breaking. So you may see an update to this in about two to three weeks' time in that. But anyways, so yeah, the red one is exactly the same, and these can be found under build modes and under containers. Sorry, tools. But yeah, right at the end, two hundred twenty grand each. So yeah. 49 and 50 slots respectively. Both go down to free. And yeah, so if you love your like, your big American sheds, this is the mod for you. Even with the door and that, just ignore the doors. If, it, if that bothers you, just ignore it. Use the main big, uh, rolling doors, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the workshop by Mapper's Paradise. Next. We've got the Hot Air Production, and this is by Courseplay.dev Team, along with Creative Mesh and Caster. This is a collaboration between Caster and Creative Mesh. And yep, yeah, it's a Hot Air Production for Caster's Modular Greenhouse. And even though I haven't done a mod review on that, or any guides to it, I'm sure there's other creators who've done it, so. This requires the Greenhouse Modular Pack, 
by Caster. And also, it requires the Straw Harvest Pack by Creative Mesh. And the reason is, not just because it's the exact same building as the um, electric plant, wherever it is, by Creative Mesh. So yeah, let's go into here. So, input, it requires straw pellets. Output is a little bit of electricity. And as well as air. And for the hot air, this could be used for the greenhouse. So, if we go up to the greenhouses, along with a plethora of things that need water, substrate, and all that. I'm not going to look into this. I am not bother setting it up because to get this set up right and perfect to do this mod justice, I'm going to rush, spend 10 minutes of whacking it all together. Something like this, I'll spend an hour on setting up, and I don't have time to set it up, so apologies for not showcasing this off properly. But nevertheless, so input is straw pellets. The capacity is 25,000 litres. So yeah, obviously to get your pellets and that, I've done some videos on that, and I know other creators have. So you've got two options. Use the equipment part of the straw harvest pack. Or, with the straw harvest pack enabled, get a animal's forage wagon, so something like this. Put straw in it, so this could be from a silo. Pick it up with the forage pickup mod or whatever. Because whatever straw you put in here, with the straw harvest pack, will get converted into straw pellets. So, 4,000 litres of straw you've picked up would be converted into pellets. But, anyways, I'm just doing a brief overview on that since that's not the purpose of this. So, the trigger with, the, with this at least is very iffy. Sure, tip side to the left. Ah, yeah, like I had issues with it, so yeah, it's like literally got to go right close to it. So, if you're having issues with a mixed wagon like this, then yeah, it's fine. Obviously, if you've got the actual proper equipment, yeah, probably a bit better because yeah, you get the pellets in pallets, pellet pallets, how's a Bit of a tongue full. But yeah, so 25,000 of capacity, get converted to a bit of electricity and hot air. Ooh, that is out. So yeah, this can be found under productions and under factories. Go right to the end. So yeah, you've got your hot air production. And um, yeah, I've already said slot count, 13 slots goes down to 1. Correction, 6 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, it is 42 grand to place. And just compared to the Straw Harvest Pack, it's exactly the same. Obviously this is a collab, so it ain't a baiting copy or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not criticising, I'm just stating. Because, yeah, that also accepts straw pellets to get converted into electricity. And, yeah, just for a quick comparison. Do you get more electricity or anything? So, yeah, 130. So, yeah, if you want the electricity, just the electricity and not the hot air, I recommend still using the straw harvest pack pellet heat, <laughs> pellet heat plant rather than the hot air productions. So yeah, that is the hot air production by courseplace.dev team, creative mesh and caster. Next we'll head on to our animals. And finally, we've got a modded doghouse. This is the first modded doghouse in two and a half years of FS2. And yeah, this is by, again, Mapper's Paradise. It is 4.36 megabytes to download, 5 slot counts, and there is a variety of designs, so you can have a John Deere, but also you can have a case and a fence. So let's fill up Nirvana. 
I'm Nirvana. So yeah, got, this is where your dog would be. Country boy. And this can be fine under build mode, under animals, under other. So yeah, five slots goes down to one. Fortunately, you're going to have to place one at a time, so you've got a John Deere. Got a case. Harvester. And you got a fence tractor, so... If you want something different, but... Yeah, if you want to treat your doghouse with some class... You can always trust in the deer doghouse. Oh, yeah. Random puns and that. So yeah, 275 bucks to play sound. 5 bucks to daily upkeep. And yeah. I need to get this through the rest of these mods. So yeah, this is the brand doghouses by Mapper's Paradise. Next. For our final placeable mod of the day, we've got the American Sheep Barn by the one and only Salabuki. 2.9 megabytes to download, 12 slots for consoles, holds 300 sheep. This will accept grass or hay. The capacity is 50,000 litres. And let's get some sheeps in without sending any. So, 180, 300. So, yep, yeah, got some lovely little sheeps here. And again, it's a map, not a map, it's a mod by Sabuki. So, you expect good level details. Good animations, I like the wear on the barn doors themselves, or the barn walls. Absolute nice. Got your typical American silo net. And yeah, for 300 sheep costing, well, f yeah, 300 sheep costing 50 grand. This can be fine under build mode and under sheep. So 12 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, ignore it where it says it accepts hay pets, that's just because I've got the true harvest pack enabled. So yeah, 12 slots goes down to 1. And yeah, besides from that, nothing much else to say. The trigger point, your dialog box is here. Your input is only just on the outside here, so no need to faff around going to the troughs and that. It's got an automatic water supply. And your wall comes out of here, so a clear marked area, decent, very easy to find. So yeah, that is the American Sheep Barn by Celebuki. That concludes all of our placeables for the day, so spare me a sec whilst I get the equipment sorted. And we'll finish the rest of this mod review for the day. So we're on to, so we're on to our vehicle mods for the day. And to start off with and get out of the way is the Broad 1970L animated by Just Farming. It is 13.67 megabytes to download. Slot count is 19 slots for console. And yeah, similar to other mods by Just Farming, like the John Deere X9, it says yada yada yada, interactive control ready. However, I'm thinking that's a PC only mod because I'm looking at the mod description right now in my notes. It says in basic interactive in terms with doors, ladder, engine flaps, steering wheel, seat armrests, side curtain, and other features. But yeah, before we get to that, this is a nice mod, even though it's got the animation issues, which I absolutely hate, we'll get to in a sec. First of all, you'll find this under Vehicles and under Group Technology. So just double checking, yeah, so there we go. What did I say? 19 slots, goes down to 1. And when you compare it to the base game, at the very least, this is where it earns its credit back. It is... 50 grand cheaper, same driving speed, however, it is a 5,000 litre capacity rather than a 3,000 litre capacity, so 50% bigger over that. Not as stupid as the Colossus stuff, but we're not even looking at that. 8.6 tonnes, and it's got a better working speed, something a bit more realistic and ideal for 
most FS22 players, Farm Simulator 22 players, at 8 miles an hour if you do grapes, rather than a measly 4 miles an hour. So yeah, let's go to here. Don't have too many options, so tyres, first line, Midas, Continental, Michelin, Trailer Borg, and back to first lines. The chassis colour, you do have a plethora of basic options. However, it only changes the front. You can't change the back section. Room colours, you got chrome, silver, white, black, black too. And then your basic base game pad stuff. And that is the rims. So yeah, my gripe with this mod is you press L1. So we've got an option to obviously you can fold and unfold the harvester and that. All that does is just raises it ready. It doesn't do any animations. As far as I can tell, nope. So press L1, up and down. And all that does is just the left mirror. L1 and R1, no options whatsoever. And R1 is mirror, so... At least, okay, it's not fully animated, so at least it's got better animation, so... It's within the name of the mod and that, so... But yeah, things like engine cases and that, that's a PC-only mod stuff, but... That's just me being critiquing that, so... And obviously I didn't have fingers on this save at the moment of my... Mod review map, so... But yeah, well, I may put that down in the future, but anyways... This is the broad 97L animated by Just Farming. Next. For our first equipment mod of the day, we've got the Amazon ZASE. This is by Police Cap. Do apologise if I'm pronouncing it wrong. 7.21 megabytes to download. Five slots on console. And yeah, this is a lime and fertilizer spreader. 60 meters work width. 550 liter capacity and only costs $1,700. And it comes in two variations, so under third spreaders, down to the end. So yeah, you've got a basic Amazon model version, no color options, and all the working speeds on that are exactly the same. And for the Lizard Brand version, this is more of a rustic old fashioned, so main color you've got versions of greys, blacks, reds. Greeny, blues, greens, blue, yellow, and then you've got your beiges, so let's pick a blue. That changes the actual body itself, and design colour, let's go with a yellow. Yeah, and that only changes the actual discs themselves at this bottom. But yeah, 550 litres, 270 kilograms, 5 slots goes down to 1. And yet, yeah, it does lime and fertilizer at the exact same work width of 16 meters, for at least I can tell. So, yeah, let's go to a field. And obviously, ignore that just because I'm using the John Deere Unreal, but. Working speed, we have a look. It is 10 miles an hour. Yeah, 50 kilometers an hour, so about 8, 9 miles an hour, sorry. But yeah, with yeah, with the exception of me in that, and the John Deere Unreal I'm using. Yeah, a decent small little rustic for a spreader, potentially. Good for small maps or vintage maps. So yeah, that is the Amazon ZASE by Poiscap. Next, we've got the Flegel PFW 18000 Max Line Plus. This is by Jun3S. 8.29 megabytes to download. Slot count is 11. And yeah, this is a story tank. 15 meters work width, 18,000 years as you can tell by the name properly. But anyway, so this is be under your tools and story tanks. Head to the end, and yep, yeah, so slot count I said 11, 
Do it down to one. Got some options, so trailer board got standard. Standard two, wide and wide two. First lines, standard, wide, back to standard. BKT, standard, wide. Michelin, standard, standard two, wide, back to standard. Trailborg, standard, wide. I think we've done that, so yeah. Anyways, we got the toe and shoe config. So just like one and design two. And yeah, that all that changes is the end of the nozzles and that. Off the shoes. There goes, we've got white, red, black, and then back to white. And that changes the flegal, so if you can have black, I recommend changing the actual tank colour. Hose colour, we've got dark green, green, light blue, dark grey, dark green, and back to green, so i say that's more of a okay, berry blue. Yeah, well, well, anyway, so colour options we've got black, green, green 2, blue, yellow, blue 2, green 3. Why aren't the greens in order? Why aren't the blues in order? That's just the OCD part, me. That annoys me there, but minor OCD fit on sides. So, yeah, got tank colour. Rims, you got silver, black. Or green. So yep, yeah, that is the flegal spreader. We'll have a little demonstration, so turn it on. Go and unfold. So yeah, this is a slurry tank spreader, or take slurry or digest it. So go and unfold that. Lower it. Of course, you've got options for double application, yes or no. And let's turn this on. There we go. Yeah, actually, should turn it on, sorry. You should get the blue icon on now, it's showing up. But yeah, simple double application of fertilizer. Play as and when you need it. Let's be careful because you can use a lot of slurry and digest it very quickly. Like, like that small film there. 10%, but anyways. That is the Fiegel PFW 18000 Max Light Plus by Jun 3S. Next, we've got the Lizard MKS33. This is by JCB. 3.1 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6, goes down to 1. And yeah, this is a simple MKS tanker trailer. Has a variety of capacity options, which we'll have a look in a sec. And it can transport milk, fuel, water, diesel, diesel exhaust fluid or DEF, liquid manure, digestate, fertilizer, or lime, weirdly. I didn't know lime was liquid, but hey, this can be found under tools and under animals head to the end so yeah mks 33 six slots goes down to one so yeah will brands got continental standard narrows back to standard trevor is fixed and then back to continentals design we've got standard or back signs capacity we've got standard 32,000 litres Extension 45,000 litres and Extension Plus for additional one and a half grand on top of the 70 grand base price on that is 63,000 litres and regardless of the capacity weighs 6.7 tonnes main colour pretty basic and standard so main colour changes the actual tank and then ring cutter changes the rims. So yeah, it's got a little dolly in that, hook it up. Nothing interesting off sort of no animations in that. No unfolds in that. Good level of detail in that. Light to light in. And yes, that is the Lizard AKM MKS 33 by GCB. 
next. A little bit similar to the Flegel we just looked at, we've got the Lizard 3000 Story Spreader. This is by the one and only 4D modding along with Airy Agri modding. 51.42 megabytes download. Slots count is 18 slots, goes down to 1. And yeah, basically this is a story tanker, a tandem tanker range unbuilt standard with self-steer boggle system, parabolic weight, Simpson spring, draw bar, and all that, I can read the full description. But yeah, this has got a lot of details and a lot of animation. Of course, it's by 4D modding, so you sort of expect that. For example, we're just looking at this. The wheels are leveled, but the actual chassis is tilted from where we've parked it in a way. And that's just not all. So let's go to our John Deere here. Let's get you hooked up. So you've got a variety of colour options and animations. So here, press L1. You've got an option to fill or empty. So yeah, that opens and closes it from the back. You know, it sort of releases that sort of trapped gas and trapped air. Nice. So yeah, we need to set it to empty, then press L1 square to turn it on. Okay, let's turn it off a sec. Then yeah, we've got double application rate or normal. And then got option L1 add right analog, st analog stick. That releases the hoses, so if you more want if you want more of a realistic loading speeds. Not so much loading speed, but loading physics. That is the way to go. Even if you go all the way to the right, it does go underground. So, let's say if you got a sorry tank here, like a sorry pit, just unfold that into the ground. Because yes, you can have like underground liquid storage, so you can just suck it out from the ground. Anyway, so let's go and raise that back up. Back she goes, and then L1 and R1, you've got a left analog stick, and that does sing, but for the right, and that hooks up to the back. That is nice, I'm guessing what right, right or R1 is, but, so yeah, right analog stick, up and down. Apologies, that is for the actual John Deere itself. And then R1 and right on the stick. And that's for also for the John Deere, so I thought that right hose was going to come out to the right, but I was wrong, so let's go and just offload. Put your application down. But yeah, this is not the only configuration we can have of this. So yeah, let's go over here. So yeah, you'll find this under Tools and once again under Story Tanks. And then right at the end, Lizard 3000. So yeah, we've got various variations of tanker options. We've got a splash plate, a dribble bar configuration, so that means you'll need something like this, a distributor. It doesn't come with a set option, so be aware of that. Or at least that's what I think yeah, the dribble bar is, it's got to be. But also, you can have this as a water tanker, so if you want to transport water, crack on with it. Even though it's a bit mucky water, but I, I'm not. who am I to judge on that part? Wheel brands, I'm gonna go over these. So we've got earth maxes, variations, we've got flotation tires, we've got reversal treads, and ever such on and so forth. The lizard, so you've got OT600, FTRs, so I think that's what I went with in the end. Hence why we've got that tip in the chassis and that. But you've got KFs, OTs, and that. Missions, we've got balloons, cargo X bibs, F HFs and F HDs, 
But yeah, I'm gonna go over everything. And the Treadborg, Twin Radials. Sort of see for yourself. First line, Flu Pro, so flotation tires once again. Version of sizes. This is when we get to the interesting bit. So hanger options, got standard. Left hangers one. Right hangers one. Left and right hangers one. Left hangers hose one. All hangers and left hose one. Right hangers and right hose. All hangers, right hose one. All hangers and hose one. And then got left hangers type, right hangers type two. Ah yeah, just yeah. Well, that's thing I love about 4D modding is just a huge plethora of options, including with license plates. Got a version, a variety of Irish reg plates. I'm gonna go over all those, but you also got Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, five versions of the UK reg plates, South Africa. Got Switzerland, Sweden, Poland, Norway, Netherlands, Italy, France, Denmark, Belgium, Quebec, Ontario, I guess in these are Canadian provinces, South Australia, New South Wales, and then yeah, version of all the Irish reg plates and so many to go through. But then that's almost lastly. Dealer info we've got standards. We've got the dealer decals on back to standards. So yeah, that's just adds like a little VIN tag there onto the side. Fill point options, so you've got standard. And you got a fill right bank. Got a rear fill wash sorry, rear wash port. Right back wash port. Right fill point all fill points and back to standard so <coughs> with this you can fill it up on either side I recommend going with that and uh, yeah, I've got so much to look at so yeah, old decals new decals so yeah a bit of variation of style pressure gauge so what the pressure decal yeah, I can't find where it is, so I do apologise on that. Mud flaps, so we've got standard. Add mud flaps or back down to standard. So yeah, just add some little mud flaps on the back. But yeah, with those big chonky tyres. Yeah, it looks a bit out of place. But anyways, we've got then vacuum pump options, so we've got standard. And yeah, this is the pump here at the front, so we've got standard. I hide charge over or back to standard. So yeah, it just adds a little extra charge over to it, wherever that is. But then pump color, we've got pump, red, new. We've got an old red, red matte, red rough, so a bit more rugged, and then back to red, new. So yeah, that is the color of the main pump. Now for the body itself, we've got a Huge palette of colours, so we've got versions of Colossus, New Holland Reds, we even got New Holland Blues and that. That is nice. Do we have Nitro Blue or Toothpaste? Got a Juicy Green. Got Cyan. Got Blue, Blue 2, Light Blue, so I can't find Toothpaste. Nope, no toothpaste from the far as I can see. But yeah, so good, black. And then mud guards, so we've got the mud guards section. So yeah, that's orange. Hangers, let's select blue. And that'll be the hangers on the side, so let's go and turn that back on. There we go, so yeah, hangers. Go change the colours of the hoses. So you've got a huge plethora, and then ring color once again, huge plethora of options. So yeah, apologies for that for taking forever, but 
Yeah, I think I've got about 40 mod in that. It's absolutely beautiful levels of details. But, anyways, this is the Lizard 3000 Story Spreader by 4D Modding at Every Agri Modding. Next, we've got the Horse Tyranno 3.5 FX. This is by FLAF814. 4.58 megabytes to download, 6 slots on console. And yeah, this can be found under Tools and Cultivators. Right here. Head to the end, so yeah, this is a simple three and a half meter cultivator with the 163 horsepower required. Very specific on that. Quite heavy at 2.4 tons. Working speed of 9 miles an hour. So yeah, let's hop into the John Deere. And yeah, we'll get this hooked up. And yeah, actually, that is. Now that's a rolling animation there. Even like when we lower it, they like lower it, raise it up, keep some rolling in for a little bit until it loses momentum. So yeah, let's go and lower this. Perhaps I would recommend a weight on a if you're using a smaller tractor than this. But yeah, nine miles an hour, good animation, and just in general. Good level of details to it, and yeah, we would love to fonder over it more, but we need to get the rest of these mods done, as this is going to be a long video as it is, but I'll, yeah, we'll keep it win one I think, depending on how editing goes. But anyways, that is the Horse Tyranno 3.5 FX by FLAV814. Next, we've got the Lizard Diamond Disc, this is by BC Booter, 12.14 megabytes to download, slot count is 9 slots, and yeah, this is a 10.1 meter disc arrow, and yeah, it says in the description, a cross section or crossover between your conventional and vertical tillage, and makes ideal use on heavy residue and wet conditions, unlike your traditional disc arrows. But yeah, so this is a Disc arrows are under tools and disc arrows. Right at the end, 60 grand to start off with. Bit of a colour option, so main colour, so base game pretty much. Oh sorry, that's, that's the rim colour, so rim colours are red. Main colour, so starts off with a green. Yeah, so you got white, and then you've got your base skin colour, so let's go with a... Let's go with a black on that. Because it says design colour. And, oh wait a minute, I think I've just noticed it. Ah, it's the branding, so... It's this here, that's the branding. So that is the design colour. Cause yeah, I'll spend like good five minutes looking at it. What is the design color changing? But so yeah, a ten point one meter disc arrow, eleven miles an hour, three hundred horsepower requirement. So overall, above average, and actually bang for the buck in that. Quite decent. So let's go and unfold this baby. Lovely animations in that. So yeah, let's go and lower this. Ah yeah, it's kicking up the dust in that, as you would do. Yeah, just like the animation, the physics and that. Absolutely beautiful, as you expect by PC Booter. So yeah, that is the Lizard Diamond Disc by PC Booter. Next. And yeah, I forgot to say, that does have a bit of a perpetual momentum. Like, I just, like, tapped in the rear, and yeah, just kept on going, but that's weird, that is, but anyways, next we've got the platform. This is by John GM, 1.39 megabytes to download, one slot on console, and yeah, let's get it hooked up, sexo, yeah. 
it's like a little simple three point linkage platform so you can sort of pallets, bells as I've done here with the bells but yeah pallets, tools and that everything you can fit on here can and will fit it's got two tension straps and this can be found under tools and miscellaneous so yeah platform 1800 quid so the main colour just select a star of red so the main colour changes the main f main frames and that and the chassis linkage or where it links onto let's pick a red I said pick a red so yeah that changes the chassis where it links onto so yeah simple 180 1,800 pounds, sorry. That says on the mod description, requires 60 horsepower, but it's not working on the PTO shaft, is it? No, it's just a hydraulic, it's no PTO, so I don't get why it says 60 horsepower, but hey, I have no idea on that. But, anyways, that is the platform by John GM. Next, we've got the Lizard Tim 3T. This is by Vulex I am Tim. It is four slots on console, 3.45 megabytes download. And yeah, this is a very good old small trailer if you wish to have one. Yeah, for 2100 quid, this can hold upwards to 5,000 liters. And yeah. Let's be fine under tools. Don't know why he did that weird voice, but anyways, tools and traders. Head to the end. And there we go, the Tim 3T. As in three tons, so 3,000 years, but with the extensions that goes up to 5,000 years. And for only an additional 250 quid, so if we're doing like a vintage farm series. A 5,000 year tray for two and a half grand ain't too shabby. Unfortunately, there's no color options, but close from that, set to unload. Tail drops back and then it raises with the hydraulics. So, yeah, nice animation, nice level of detail. So, yeah, that is the Lizard Tim 3T by Vulex. That is our last equipment for the day. Now let's head to our vehicles. Starting off with, we've got a 90s Kloss tractor. This is the Kloss Zarian 2500 3000. This is by Bartek Cosmos. 45.87 megabytes to download. Sway slot counts on console. And yeah, it's a new concept tractor system, 1997, 8.7 litre engine, hydro-mechanical gearbox, and then there's also a HM8 with a 1999 version. Does have a variety of facelifts and power options. So yeah, this can be found under vehicles and large tractors. Head to the end. And there we go. So yeah, got the class. Twenty slots goes down to one. Starts off at eighty-five grand for a two hundred and fifty horsepower tractor. That ain't too bad actually. So yeah, we've got engine, Zerion, twenty-five hundred nine ninety seven, three thousand nine ninety seven, twenty-five hundred nine nine nine, three thousand nine nine nine. Ah yeah, so 250, 300, 265 and 315. So slight variations in the engines. Wheel brands, we've got Trailerborg, standard. Wide tires, wide two. Back down to standard. Michelin's, this is one I would recommend. Not standards. Not standard two. Not standard three. Not standard four. Oh yeah, it is standard four, sorry, if there's five. But yeah, when you compare it to that, get some huge chonky tyres there. Anyway, it's got Continental Standard, Wide, Back Down Standard, 
Mitre standard wide back down standard BKT wide further strings got standard wide back down standard got your wide Nokians and then back down to Trelleborg signs no or yes pretty much so yeah got Euro SMV no idea what that is or all so yeah, if you want your worn triangles and your flaps on the side, you can. Extinguisher's got none or yes. And I'll add a extinguisher to in the cab besides the seat. So you've got one on the left. And that is it. Additional work lights, no or yes. So you've got front, back or all. So you've got your front lights above the ridge plate and that. Then you've got your lights on the back with head around. So you add lights on to the back of the fenders. And then you got all. Attachers got a variety of three point linkages. So we've got the Python fix. K8O and back down to Python fix. I do not know what these are. But yeah, it has like a ball hitch system by the looks of it on the K80. So if you know, then let me know because I got no idea. Hubs, we've got green, grey, and that's it. So that changes the wheel hubs. So let's go with a grey. Let's go with yellows on the cabin hydraulic. So See, you got yellow or grey, and it just changes the outside sheaths and that, or sleeve as it says. And then lastly, we've got room colour. So you've got red, white, grey, or black. Licence plate options, yes or no, and all that. So yeah, and actually, for a 99s tractor, not too bad, it's got a bit of a kick up and go. Steering option, so you've got all wheel steering, front wheel, got grab to the left, grab to the right, back down to all wheel steering, and you're having a look. Also, you've got change driving direction, so we can turn around. Whee! Oh, yeah, that is nice. So Things like with, with like the saddle track system in a way you can change direction, so that is nice. So yeah, that is the class Zarium 2500 and 3000 by Bartek Cosmos. Next, we've got a set of John Deere mods, but first of all, this is the John Deere 3010 3020 by EY Modding. 14.02 megabytes download, slot count is 8 slots for whatever version you go with. So yeah, we'll start off with configuration, so under vehicles and small tractors. Head to the end, and yeah, there it is there, John Deere 310. So you've got 310 diesel, 320 diesel, so it adds an extra 20 horsepower, no, 10 horsepower, sorry. Got your synchro shifts, 128 litres in fuel, 17 miles an hour, weighs three and a half tons. Wheel brands, so we've got BKT standard, wheel weights, wheel weights tool, rear twins, rear twins two, and then you got a three wheeler option, a tricycle. And you got your wheel weights three, four, so it just keeps on adding the weights. Got your rear twins, even more so you can have like massive wheels on the back. Trailer board got narrows, narrows two. So you got narrows, narrows two. So that changes the front wheels options from a four wheel tractor to a basically a tricycle. And then back to BKT. So the next we've got canopy standard, none. Got the ROPS. Canopy and then back down standards. With something like this, I prefer the standard option. So then front weight's got no or yes. 
And that is what? By the looks of it, a 200 kilogram weight. Front loaders, so we've got no. Got the Quickie or the Hoyer option, or Hauer. And also you've got the John Deere option as well. And then back down to no. So yeah, just to the left, I've got the our little tractor and that with the front loader. Because with a tricycle, it is easy to flip this thing, so I'll make you open. Nothing options there. So you got steering left, steering right. Actually I do wonder what's the animations like on this, so zoom in. Ah so so yeah, there's no like hand shift or anything. Horn. Standard horn in that. But yeah. Let's have some fun. So this is the 3020. So yeah, go for and that's fine. When you're done, you can do a tight turn. Like that. Like, I'm just gonna pick up speed a bit. Cruise control, six, seven miles an hour almost. And then once you start get going, let's say, oh, deer in the road, let's turn left. Oh no, you're on your side. And if you're lucky, you can bounce back. Otherwise, like I've done a few times with this, I want to see if I can get stuck again. There we go, hold left. Ah oh, yeah, there we go, we've got a proper stuck, so... You only need to get something to hit that back on its wheel, so... If you're using the tricycle option, please folks... Yeah, just please be cautious of it. But anyways, that is the John Deere 310 320 by EY Modin. Next, we've got the John Deere 8R EU series. This is by Padres, 13.29 megabytes download. 20 slots for console. And yeah, simple John Deere 8R. In a way, we've seen many of these before, but anyway, so L1. Right analog stick. Ooh, that raises and lowers the front suspension. Yeah, so yeah, it's a hydraulic suspension, so that is nice. That says configurations, tires, front attacher, fender back sections, warning signs, and it also has the Iceria Pro Compact, but requires the Precision Farm DLC, of course. And then, it says on here, oh yeah, animated monitors. So you turn it on, it loads in. L1, R1, nothing. R1, X for the horn. Yeah, your basic horn. But yeah, pretty nifty in that, so... You'll find this under vehicles and large tractors. Go towards the end. So yeah, we want the 8 Heart EU series. So yeah, price starts at 285 grand for 326 horsepower. And it goes up to well, 310, 340, 370. And with the 410 you get a 450 horsepower engine. Wheel brands, we've got trailer Borg, standard wheel weights or none. Mission, standard, wheel weights, standard 2, weights 2, weights 3, so yeah, I personally recommend with this, you get more tire for your buck. Then my you've got standard, wheel weights, back down standard, BKT, standard weights, first line, standard, wheel weights, and yeah, all that adds is what, two tons yeah adds two tons to the weight and back down to the trailer board warn signs no or yes at the back then front fender back so you've got no or yes so that is the extensions and then for configurations this is for the front so you got three point linkage or front weight so that adds 
or say at least 1.1 tons, maybe 1.25 tons. In hindsight, with the actual weight itself, but yeah, the actual difference is 1.1 tons, and that's it. So let's go in here. So yeah, apart from the suspension, not too bad, not too shabby. Can't complain, can't refold the mod, so yeah. We'll try to hard steer it. And unlike with the other John Deere, we cannot flip this, so this is the John Deere 8R EU series by Padres. Next, we've got the Lizard Rumbler. This is by Castan18. 14.11 megabytes to download, 10 slots for console. And uh, basically this is a four transit tipper bed, so obviously you're aware of the four transit vans. If especially you're, if you're here in the UK, you'll see these. You'll probably have one of these on your street somewhere, I'm pretty sure, but so yeah. Let's go and just unfold it first of all. It's not a multi fruit tipper and that. It does hold like your standard crop seeds stones and all that. Nice animation, nice level of detail. This the loader drop down. So you've got tip side back, tip side left, tip side right, and then back to back. So yeah, you can tip it left. Stop that. Tip side right. Does the same thing. Yeah, and I do have uh, that Ford Transit engine. That uh, diesel just ticks over. Beautiful. Horn, standard than that. So, yep, yeah, you'll find this under cars. And, yep, yeah, at the end, 25 grand. So, yeah, you got a Beltrayer option. Or got a trailer capacity of just under 3,700 litres. And then you've got tension belts or automatic auto load. For attachers, you've got standard and true hitch, so you want to tow something on the back of this. You can, as long as it's a boarding hitch. Designed, no or yes, so if you want to do a bit of login, then yeah, crack on as you wish. Wheel setup, you've got front wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So you can see the shaft. And then you got all-wheel drive for design color, pretty standard. That changes the actual cab itself, so let's go with a nice vivid pink. Then ring colors, not too many: silver, chrome, white, or black. And yeah, so 55 miles an hour. 300, yeah, 300 horsepower, 130 years. Weighs on standard three tons, so overall not too bad. Oh, is there a little bit of cough there? So yeah, the Lizard Rumbler by Castan 18, and yeah, I am absolutely loving that sound of the diesel. But yeah, so you got the Lizard Rumbler by Castan 18. Next, we head to our penultimate mod of the day for our. Second to last mod of the day, we've got the T8 South America, so New Holland T8 South America. This is by Fritz. 27.2 megabytes to download. Slot count is 21. And yeah, you'll find this under large tractors, well, vehicles and large tractors. And then once again, right up to the end. So yeah, T8 South America starts off at 280 grand, 328 or the T8 320, 351 horsepower, then you got 381 horsepower, 435, then back down to 351. Will Brand's got Trailerborg, weights, weights 2, wide, wide weights, and yeah, you got your usual rear twins and twins, narrow twins, got the crawler track option. Got the broad option, the three meter wide option, back down to standard. Michelin's exactly the same. 
Continental, by the looks of it, is exactly the same. Yeah, Twins, Crawlers and that. Mitus, yeah, exactly the same. BKT, very similar, if not exactly the same. First lines, yeah, exactly the same. But then also we've got rice wheels, so got standard, weight, standard, wides and that. So yeah, even though it's rice wheels, you do have the same options and that, three meters and that. And then yeah, back down to Trelleborg. For the weights, we got standard. So yeah, that's for the front, so 880 kilograms. Back down to standard. So you got the reverse beep, no or yes, our beep when it's in reverse. Fenders, so you got standard or no fenders. So yeah, that's for the front. Beacons, no or yes, so that is two on the top. Exhaust, we got standard, got chrome, back down to standard. Windows, this is the tinting. Clear windows or dark window, so a dark tint. And then the flags on the side, you got Brazil. Couple of provinces in Brazil, so you've got Rio Grande do Sul, you've got Santa Catarina, Parana, and then you got Argentina, United States, France, Germany, and back to none. Radio 10, you got no or yes, so big things sticking out the front. So you got left and right, or both. Main colour, so you've got a variety of blue, you've got Big Bud Blue, New Holland Blue, Blue Metal, the Black Edition, Black Edition Series, or well, Black Metal, but yeah, Black Edition Series, or the typical Light Blue New Holland. Rimmed colours, we've got Standard, Grey, Matte Black, Black, and Brushed Silver. And then you've yeah, got Licence Plate. So yes, hop into here. Do I have the beeping option on here? So yeah, got, I got the beeping option. Nice. That won't get annoying very quickly. But yeah, that is the New Holland T8 South America by Fritz. Actually, I was looking at the animation and the physics. Seems to be handy and well. So yeah. That is the Teen South America. And then finally, we're on to our final mod of the day. And our final mod of the day, this is the Lizard 822830D by Woodcraft Modding and Oscar8599. And yeah, this is the Lizard version of the Tiger Cat series. This is 30.5 megabytes to download, 18 slots on console. console. And there are two variations of these, so this will be found under vehicles and forestry equipment. And just a reminder, one is for consoles and one is for PC. So obviously you've got your zero tail swing ISO control. If you're on console, this is the one you'll go with. If you're on Mac or PC, then you got the mouse control, which I guess gives you additional controls and that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm a console player through and through, so... But yeah, because I tried to purchase that, and I did. But I couldn't use the full range of animations you can use. So yeah, both configurations are the same. So you got the X822D, 330D. Also, you got a mulching option for both and yeah for the 22d we'll set up standard wide tires back to standard even though it's wide tracks not tires rear shield no or yes that is a basically a little rear shield plate there to guard the back of the tracks and that and then you got additional weights no or yes 
And that has just over or about one and a half tons. Ah, uh, yeah, for the free, uh, sorry, for the eight three three zero versions, you also got a automatic soap compensation. So I'm guessing that means is when you're on soap, it adjusts the track, not adjusts the equipment itself. But one thing that is annoying me, and that's why, sorry, it ain't annoying me because I thought, why is it charging an extra hundred grand? So yeah, if you want the bunch, the tree buncher version, which will cut the trees down in that, that will cost you 525 quid, grand, 525 pounds, I wish, but anyways, it tells me it's been a long video, but yeah, for the top of the line version, you're looking at 230 grand for the buncher, for the motor option, the cheapest is 417 grand. Yeah, slight difference in engine sizes and that, but fuel capacity same. And the very same slow speed of just 3 miles an hour. So, let me get this unfolded a sec. So, yeah, let's go and tip this out and start fresh. So, yeah, looking at the bunch roll. So buncher, yeah, buncher option. So typical standard, got camera angles, very variety on the arms. You also got a decent in cab option as well. So yeah, first of all, L1, L1 next. That raises and opens and closes the claw. So yeah, when you get to a tree, just open it and close it as you wish. So yeah, and then L1 and square turns it on. L1 and left on the D-pad. So that opens that top section up there. Fair enough, so if I won't say do that and that, there we go. And then L1 and left on D-pad and X opens both those up. And then right on the stick, up and down, raise, and there is the boom. Left and right swivels the cab. L1, R1, right analog stick, just tilts the actual buncher itself. And then up and down, opens and closes the arm together. Ignore the tilting, that's me that is. So yeah, up and down. All good now. And then right R1 and right analog stick. That will rotate the header just there so slightly like that. And then R1 up and down on right analog stick. Just sort of curls in and booms out the main boom. See so yeah, I'll try to give it a go, but I guarantee I'm gonna be absolutely rubbish like this. See, I'm picking you for chopping because you're the closest. See, I should be able to scoot to it. Close the claw. There we go. Turn on. There we go. And then, yep, that's one tree cut. Then all you should do is you turn around. We have an option to cut in that. We need to do that. But yeah, if you wish, you can like so you let go of the tree, and it will cut it into nice little log shapes. But I'm absolutely terrible at that. And then lastly, let's head to. The motor option since I can't be bothered to drive over there, so similar options. So L1, yep, yeah, exactly the same. Right, booms out the actual motor, I mean, so yeah. Let's go and let's say, oh, I want to mulch the ground here, so get it to the ground. Let's 
just control the boom out. I'm happy with that. L1, R1. The final look stick. Just rotates the header and out. As it has always done. So yeah, let's say we're ready. Turn it on. And we're mulching. It's not quite perfect. So yeah, we've done that. We want this. That's it. L1, R1. Right analog stick to get that leveled. Then so I have to adjust it ever so slowly. And then, like so, we're munching the ground at three miles an hour. And woohoo! We are waving. Come on, let's get on the, back on the ground. Back on the ground, that's good. So yeah, not too shabby in that. And finally that is all the mods for today. So after 32 mods looking at, we are done for the day for the mods on 14th of March 2024. And as always, hopefully you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for as you just do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.